grabbed him by his neck, picked him up, and threw him to the ground. Kurt Brockway is accused of assaulting the 13-year-old. When somebody disrespects our flag, to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out. Witnesses tell me Brockway tried to justify what had happened. They say he said he did it because the boy was disrespecting the flag by not removing his hat during the national anthem. To stand proudly for the national anthem. Well, you shouldn't be playing. You shouldn't be there. Maybe you shouldn't be in the country. It's not just now we are living in crazy times. We've always lived in crazy times. Meet Kurt Brockway, another beaming example of carrying out Donald Trump's calls for violence and white privilege. Total disrespect of our heritage. That's a total disrespect of everything that we stand for. When the national anthem played at a rodeo in Superior, Montana, Brockway noticed this young boy with his cap still on. He told police the boy was wearing a hat as the national anthem began, and he asked him to remove it because it was disrespectful to wear it during the anthem, but the boy responded by saying F you, according to an affidavit filed in court. One woman said she did not hear him ask the boy to take off his hat. He then grabbed the boy by his throat, lifted him into the air before slamming the boy into the ground, the affidavit said. Brockway said he believed he was doing what President Donald Trump wanted him to do. I'm just curious, would Brockway do the same to Jerry Jones? Jones loves and respects the national anthem so much that when it was being played before the start of practice Saturday, he left his cap on. And when he was told about the mistake he was making, he still left his cap on. Would he do the same even to Donald Trump? When he's an owner of a franchise in the USFL, he's regularly sitting there doing work during the national anthem. Like, and which is no crime. I, anyone who's been in a press box has worked during the national it's anthem. It's a sign of protest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It is all, it is the biggest, for a guy who hates the NFL, he sure wants to be in the NFL. Yeah. It was well known and not even a big deal that Donald Trump would sit during the anthem. He would do work, take calls, conduct interviews, he probably never gave it a second thought. But to Brockway, carrying out Trump's mission is the engine of his own hatred. He said the boy was disrespecting the national anthem, so he had every right to do that, said one eyewitness. And now, here's where the privilege kicks in. Now, court documents show his attacker was released without posting the set $100,000 bond. The state requested his bond be set at $100,000. However, the judge ruled Brockway can be released on his own recognizance. District Judge John Larson presided in the Brockway case and should hear from all of us. A violent crime and a man is sent home? Meanwhile, a black woman named Crystal Mason was given a five-year prison sentence because she tried to vote in the 2016 presidential election, not knowing election officials considered Mason ineligible to vote. Brockway causes damage to a pre-adolescent's brain with a violent crime, but someone like Kelly Williams Bilar was convicted by the state of Ohio and imprisoned her for falsifying her address to get her kids into better public schools. Especially when Brockway was convicted of a 2010 charge of assault with a weapon. In that incident, Brockway pulled up to a parked vehicle, got out, and pulled a gun on a family and stated he was going to kill them, according to KPAX. He was sentenced to 10 years with the Montana Department of Corrections, all of which were suspended. The system is unjust. The time of reckoning is past due. What must be done for a level playing field? I honestly ask. We continue to do these stories to shed light on the injustices that someone like Colin Kaepernick fights for, someone like Eric Reed fights for, Muhammad Ali, Jackie Robinson, LeBron James, Bill Russell, Tommy Smith, John Carlos, the list goes on and on. When do the fights result in an overwhelming win, including in the public court system? Until we see that day, silence is not an option.